Here with Keith Pino, he's the president of the Youth Arena Association. Keith, heartbreak in Lawrencetown tonight, yes or no? Uh, yes and no. We didn't win the 100000 but we won as a community. Oh, there's no doubt about it. The spirit in this room tonight was absolutely amazing. It's uh, very overwhelming. We had over 700,000 votes. It was, I guess it could have turned out better, but we're very, very happy. Oh, I'm sure they are. Now, I would think the number one thing on your list right now is sleep. Sleep. <laughs> sleep. And then uh, whatever's next. Yo. Yeah, no, for sure. So what is coming up next for the Lawrence Town Youth Arena? Anyway? We'll, we'll still put a drive on to try to repair our facility or build a new one. Okay, and you've already got to start with the Zamboni anyway. Yeah, yeah. and everybody knows where Lawrence Town is. Oh, there's no doubt about that. But this didn't come together. You, I mean, I mean you, I'm sure you would love to take credit for it all on your own, but there's some people you yeah, got to thank. Yeah, there was... Uh, Martha Robertson put the original story in to get us started, and then Todd Roberts put the story in about the Zamboni, which captured what we've done to put a Zamboni in our break. And Lynn Roscoe come on board, and she she ran all the media side of things. It was excellent, and I like to thank everybody. There were so many people that come on board to help us. We can't I can't think of them all. It's everybody. If I missed everybody, anybody will add everybody again. <laughs> it's been excellent. Excellent, man. You go home and get some sleep. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much.